going to be demonstrating the use of the Farpoint Batsana Focus Mask. It's pretty straightforward and easy to use. We have our focus mask here. When we're ready to focus, we just simply place it over the front of the SCT that it's made for. It fits right over the secondary housing. Uh, we do our focusing, and then when we're done, we just simply remove it and do our imaging. It's that simple. So I now have uh, my 10 inch telescope set up with my Nikon DSLR mounted and I've got Vega uh, sort of centered, coarsely focused and subframed. Um, and so what I'm going to do now that I've done that is put my mask on the front of the telescope. And what we'll do is we'll take a short exposure here. Let that download. And we can see we start to have some spikes. So I'll just uh, tweak the focus and take another exposure. And what you're looking for is this center spike right here to shift left and right to be uh, symmetrically down the center of these crossed spikes here. So I'm going to adjust the focus again. Take another image. And we're starting to get very close here, so I'm going to just make the slightest tweak to the focus. And now I can see that I've got that probably just about as symmetrical as I'm going to be able to make it. And that's the best focus I'm going to achieve. This technique actually punches through the seeing effects uh, and gives you kind of like a mathematical focus to it. So that's how uh, the Batonov mask works. It's pretty simple. Let's see, I'll take one more picture here. I'll pull the mask off the scope. take the exposure and we've got our nicely focused stars and of course Vega is kind of bright so it's bloated if we pull up some of the background stars you can see they're nice little dots <laughs> 